Hey guys, welcome back to General Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're back with a brand new video. It's actually a bit new today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 on a low end PC. Now I know what you're saying right off the bat if you're looking at my MSA afterburner. Javon, an i7 4790 is not low end. Who cares? We're running it with the Intel HD 4600, which really is extremely low end. Now, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 isn't a very good optimized game, but we're worried more on the GPU side than on the CPU side, because if it's on the CPU side, that's a bottleneck. So whatever I do here may not matter as much compared to the GPU side, which is why I paired these two together. So we're going to be showing you guys how it runs. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to get it playable on the Intel HD 4600 and I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget please leave a like, comment, subscribe and stick around for more epic content. Let's get into it. So as you can see right off the bat, we are running at 720p on the lowest preset. We do have our resolution scaling up to its highest and we're hovering around 10 FPS. Not great. We're, we're, if we're shooting for 30 at this point in time. So what I'm going to do, because the Sherlock laying down on the ground there is actually in-game. So once I change the settings, it actually goes up because it is in-game. So the resolution scaling, I believe, is around 50% at this point, And we're getting about 15 FPS on average. Let's get into the game and see how it actually plays in-game now. As you can see, here we are in game, and we've dropped back down to the 9 FPS once again. As you can see, Sherlock Holmes Intel HD 4600 is not playable at the start of it. Now, I'm running at the 3D the DirectX 11 because DirectX 12 doesn't work on the Intel HD 4600. The game won't even launch that way. I actually had to go. I'll actually show you guys when I go back in, but you actually have to go into the make the game a shortcut and type force direct 3d 11 to get it to run in direct 3d 11 so as you can see we're hovering around 11 fps mainly for the most part this is not acceptable at all but i have some trips and some, some tips to get this here just a, a bit better let's get into it Alright, so we're going to be looking for the config file for Sherlock Holmes, which you'll find in your local C drive. It's going to be under Users, whatever your name is here, App Data, Local, and it's going to be under SH9 for Sherlock Holmes, probably just the ninth game, I don't know. We're going to find it in the config file, and it's going to be right here under the Game User Settings. Now with these settings here, we're going to find the config file that will have everything we need to tweak for Sherlock Holmes. Let me just open that up with Notepad++. Plus plus. Here we are. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually disable the shadow quality altogether. We're going to put that at zero to stop any shadows from getting into the game. And just press this as zero as well. So now we're running, so basically we're running at 720p without any shadows or any anti-aliasing. We're simply going to save that and see how that helps our... Here we are in Sherlock once again with Shadows and Anti-Aliasing gone and that has given us a big boost in performance as you can see. We are now getting over 20 FPS in this area where we were barely getting 9 up to 12 in this area before. So disabling Shadows definitely had a huge effect on the game. We're just going to go inside now and watch that FPS tank again. This is already much more playable than before as you can see. The game is extremely much more playable here. Sherlock looks a bit, you know like a devil but hey it works would you kindly sign these papers sir i can't believe it's not butter uh -huh. ah mr holmes uh, yes we have room 221 prepared for you i see it was reserved for two oh uh very we're just going to take a stroll once again with the new FPS and as you can see now this I would if you have if you're an Intel HD gamer right away you can say to yourself this is already extremely playable to us but we're going to go further and try to hope to get that 30 FPS in game not the worst not the worst let's get back into tip number two and I'll show you guys how to get even lower end settings on this game see you guys in a bit Alright, since we've disabled everything here, 
we're going to need to change some other variable to get a bit more performance out of it. Now, did I say that? I did say it's running at 720p with the resolution scaling down. It's at 66% of what it currently can do. Now, we can do either. We can do two things. We can drop this down a bit more, which is what I will do, or we can change the actual display resolution. Instead, we're going to drop this down all the way down to 36%, and we're going to see what that can do for us in terms of gameplay. Now, the game hardly was starting to look quite bad so we're and finally with that we've managed to get over 30 fps in gameplay the second we actually disabled dropped it from 66 down to 33 percent sherlock holmes chapter one is extremely playable all of a sudden we've somehow managed to do it. it's not dropping below 30 fps anymore we've somehow managed to get this game somewhat playable on the intel hd 4600 yes we will have dips every once in a while but i haven't seen it dip below 30 at this point which is quite impressive to be honest with you yeah it I looks like crap sir, but your room is not yet ready perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary marlin ceviche to all our guests let's check what they have on offer Let's check what they have on offer. Now, for most people, I would say that this is enough. You probably could scale it back up. If you have a something higher than the Intel HD 4600, you really don't need to go this far. Like, the 66% at first probably hey, would have been best. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Yeah, like I was saying, if that's not enough, we can you can drop the resolution, scale it down a bit more, or simply change the resolution itself. I do believe this is fine for most most games, though. As you can see, we are pushing the GPU to its limit here, way over what it should be capable of. But it has not dropped below 30 FPS. Perhaps you'd care to have your so that is impressive in its own right. Why? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Why video. I just wanted to show you guys how to get Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 so running on the system as best as it, it can. Uh, we are managing to get over the 30 FPS. It has all not dropped below 30 FPS since we did it. We dropped it down. I believe I could have bumped it up to 40%. Probably would have still looked, you know, somewhat decent. But it runs. And that's the point of the video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. This has been Jamal Rule 16. I'll see you guys next time.